we are talking about this the next one the process of perception <clears throat> what is the process of person what do you mean by process of perception the perception as we know we are trying to interpret something from the external environment that is what we mainly focused on mainly the key point in perception is nothing but a process by which individual organize and interpret their memory in impressions in order to give a meaning to their environment means the way in which they are working in which they are perceiving they are communicating that's what the main thing of perception so in under the process of perception what do you mean by under process of perception what is meant by process of perception it's a collection nothing but it's a collection of various sub processes means we are trying to take something like input from the external environment where the inputs are being processed with the help of a perceptual mechanism to produce an output means for example if you are watching a movie you are perception you are percepting something your emotions the totally are being perceived and accordingly some inputs are taken into and you try to process them up and then next you try to come up with some outcome or output so the inputs are converted into outputs through perceptual mechanism of selection organization and interpretation so that's what uh, here comes under the feelings are comes under attitudes comes under opinions are comes under the perceptual outputs which determines your behavior so the feelings the feelings your attitudes and opinions so don't think uh, it's a it's a pure concept related it's a pure implementation related so whenever you are trying to when you try to attend a class when you are attending a class so whether you are understanding the class you are are you deviating from any point so these are all things are focused so when with an example with a good example if you are trying to understand the concept means you are trying to perceive something you are understanding it you are trying to interpret whatever the other person is saying and you are trying to memorize and if your memory map is very well and good so then what do you think yes the final outcome is yes i understood the concept these concepts are very easy concepts in the, in the second phase means in contrast to it so if you are unable to understand it because you are unable to understand the terminology if you are unable to visualize what is happening and you don't have that knowledge to understand it or the might be with the help of a language or might be with the help of some other parameters which you couldn't be able to interpret them well then you say you didn't understand that is what the perception is inputs perceptual mechanism and perceptual outcome this is what the three phases three things we are different so the perceptual process consists of three sub process perceptual inputs perceptual mechanism and perceptual output in perceptual inputs what are the things we need to be consider so whenever you try to take some inputs you would like a stimuli what is meant by stimuli you excite when there is an action scene is going on in the movie while when you are you are watching a movie when there is an action movie yes you you purely involved in it there is a romantic scene is going on then you involve in it so if you are some fellow is eating a very delicious food with expressions yes you your mouth will watered so that's what we call it as events so perceptual process means the generation of a stimuli is essential for the occurrence and initiation of the process of perception means so you are trying whether it's could be an event or an object or a peep or people whoever might be the characteristic stimuli means you are trying to stimulate with the significance of the degree in which you you are stimulated or attracted towards with the external environment 
So that is what the perceptual inputs. The next in the sub process of perceptual mechanism. So once we are trying to take the inputs. So the perceptual mechanism is perceptual consists of three basic components. It consists of three components. One, selection of a stimuli. Selection of a stimuli. Second one, organization of a stimuli. Third one, an interpretation of a stimuli. These are the key points in this. So in selection of the stimuli means we are trying to get some inputs. Those inputs perceived only selected. So whenever there is a there is a delicious pizza if you are uh, trying to watch. So you don't consider all other factors. You ignore some of them. Your total focus is on your total concentration is on how you are enjoying your meal than the external sources. So you are trying to take only which is required. That's what the main thing of selecting the stimuli. The next one when you talk about Organizing of the stimuli. In organizing the stimuli, we will talk about uh, this organizing the stimuli in uh, how the stimulus is being organized. So there is a one topic by name uh, Get Stat uh, uh, School, which is uh, these are uh, some of the series of principles. We talk about it in elaborative. So let me just finish that. So what they did. So the series of organization of the stimuli, how they are being done. How it is being, the stimulus is being organized. The next one, third one, interpretation of stimuli. So under in interpretation of the stimuli, how these are perceived, how the, you are going to interpret them. Means individual try to judge their observed things, simply whether they are good or bad, whether you are, uh, it is a uh, beautiful or uh, ugly. So there is my there might be probability of a wrong interpretation or making some judgments. <coughs> the next one, the perceptual outputs. Under perceptual outputs, how the perceptual mechanism outputs are obtained means whether you are satisfied with that, whether you are able to unsatisfied you are able to understand it properly or in a confused state so these are all the certain perceptual outcomes like you are coming to an opinion we are going to get belief attitudes feelings how they are the outcomes your perception how they are influencing the inputs are being influenced by certain perceptual mechanism and finally you are going to get perceptual outputs so then next one when we talk about this these are the three different these are the three different sub processes of perception perceptual inputs perceptual mechanism and perceptual output under perceptual inputs we consider what are the events what are the objects and what are the people and whenever there is a interpretation is being done means you are perceiving how they are, you are trying to collect that information from that collection, how you are going to select the appropriate, once you selected how you organize them, how you interpret them. And under this perceptual mechanism, you are going to get the components, different components. Selection of the stimuli, organization of the stimuli and interpretation, interpretation of the stimuli. And then finally, you are going to get some output. So that type of output, so you are going to get into an opinion depending upon the parameters you have perceived or you are going to get a belief and it is going to affect how your attitude will affect and how your feelings get affected with that. That's what the thing of a process of interpretation. The next when we talk about the something like arbitration 
or attribution, not arbitration, it is attribution influences your behavior. How it is going to influence? Means it is a very simple one. There is nothing much confusing. Attribution influences your behavior. There is a personal disposition and situational attributions. So attribution is nothing. But what do you mean by attribution? Just a minute. So what is meant by attribution? Let me change the color. So attribution is nothing but it is a process. It's a process by which people draw conclusions. People draw conclusions about the factors that influence or make sense of others' behavior. So they are going to get concluded. Others behavior, one other's behavior, they came into conclusion. That is what we call it as attribution means it's a process by which people draw conclusions means they conclude something about the factors that influence or make sense of behavior or they try to predict something. They try to predict oh this situation. Yes, they try to predict predictability in certain actions and events. Which makes them respond according to the situation or the condition around. That is what we consider as attribution. A process by which people draw into conclusions. So there are two types of uh, attributions. One is personal disposition and second one is individual attributions in uh, under personal disposition it relates to personal behavior to internal factors it is purely related with personal behavior persons personal behavior which relates to internal factors what are the internal factors personal motivations personal a person's ability. This is what the personal disposition. And when talk about the situational attributions, means the situational attributes a person's behavior to the external factors. It's a very simple point. It's a person's behavior to external factors. means social influences means how the behavior will change according to the situations that is what we call it as attribution influences the behavior means how the people are getting into conclusions about other people's behavior so there are two things uh, two types one is personal disposition and second one is situational attributions. Under personal, we have personal behavior which influence or motivates an ability of the people or person. The situation means how according to the situation, how it is be, he is being come to conclusions. How according to the situation, if there some accident occurs, how it is uh, he is coming into a conclusion, how that particular will affect his concluding factors. So that is what we comes uh, call under the situational attribution, attributions. The next one, when we talk about the next one, that is a series of principles produced by means it is a little bit uh, easy one. So where a series of principles produced by guest at school, what it does, as I said in the previous one, organization of a stimuli is related with that point. Because I need a little bit elaboration, that is a requ require. That is a, the reason I made it here. Organization of a stimuli means there are some principles produced by get just at uh, school. What it did means it did some work on how stimuli is organized and arranged. So let me write down how the stimuli is organized. 
and arranged. So let us talk about uh, Jet Start School of uh, Psychology. It is a it's a school of uh, psychology. It's a basically it's a school of psychology. So it tried to do something means the stimuli must be organized and arranged. What it did means they gave certain significant principles. There are three principles it gave figure and ground, grouping and closure. There are three principles that exist that they have observed. They made two, three principles. What is the meaning of a figure and ground? It This principle states the figures are seen against in background. Means the figure generally doesn't have to be an object. It could be merely a geometric or pattern. For example, if you see a wallpaper, something on wallpaper, if it appears very nice to you, or for example, I am just trying to draw something. It might not affect your uh, perception anyway. So people simply draw something on the wall. Means whenever you try to do it, means you will find some representation or if you have any painting with an ocean where uh, rising of the sun or some boat you are sailing, a person means it makes something means you it makes you figure out something with uh, the image means the figures are seen against the background it has some meaning where you try to perceive it whether it's a, it's a small picture or a big picture which is located in uh, on wallpaper on walls so these things what we consider a figure and ground principle it is uh, nothing but occupational situations means where the employees are able to attend to the significant aspects with the uh, with the help of a uh, ground level or with the help of the context so the managerial effectiveness can also be judged in terms of chosen priorities whether you choose a uh, which picture related to which situation you will try to overwhelmed with the whole principle or whole picture so figure and ground at the ground level means figure ground principle has applications in all occupational situations that is the reason whenever you go to uh, big star hotels why they put pictures means they encourage you to keep moving into or keep on visiting the hotel because it will create a pleasant environment that stimulates you that is the reason uh, so they won't uh, keep for any without any purpose they won't keep so with purposeful means you feel like you are uh, you will become energetic uh, that environment makes you happier so that is the reason they always keep these things means the pictures or paintings so we generally do not see at home if you can maintain these even at home, then definitely your house will become a very happy home. The next, another one is, the second one is grouping. What do you mean by grouping? Means the tendency to organize shapes and patterns instantly into meaningful grouping or patterns on basis of proximity or similarity. Means whenever you watch a dog, means so you keep some under some other different category. If you see a cat, so then you keep under some different category. If you see an animal, so means according to the situation, when you go to an interview, when we are asked, when you are asked questions, so they, you try to group them up, means you try to group them into, into some. So whenever you go to bank accounts, the amount, the phone numbers, you try to categorize, fancy numbers. 
so these are all what you do you try to group them where you could arrange them in an order that is what we call it as a grouping it means it's a important one where the impact of the interesting people the impact of the information which is being known if you are in a position to group them group them very well then definitely the data whatever it influence your behavior the next the last one is nothing but figure or we can say closure not figure it, it is nothing but closure where you are trying to complete the incomplete figure complete i conclude or we can say complete and incomplete figure mentally the meaning of this is very simple the situation is being closed by you example when you finish your meal it will have an impact in your brain that your meal is finished and you conclude that it's an excellent meal when the next time you try to visit to the same place if you order the same pizza or the same uh, cuisine so then definitely you say you your feelings are activated because you have already concluded it so before you finish your meal you completed an incomplete figure mentally so previously it was not complete so you have made it a complete so where you again whenever you visit that place again you you try to get the same feeling again same happiness oh. so that what we call it as completeness what we can say closure so most people likely to see a numbers as conclusive when uh, if you are uh, dictating when uh, you ask a phone number to a friend so you, he is he is giving so just let me finish that 9848 okay 9848 yes it's a fancy number you try to figure it out why because you are closing it so sir said in this number 9848 if i say 99999 plus 11111 oh very good it's a fancy number if i say a different number it might be difficult for you to figure it out but you try to complete it so incomplete figures are mentally being completed in a final principle that is what we call it as closure that's what is uh, basically required in this okay yeah let okay